And we are live here at the Nike Center. Muscle way to you get a feel good feeling whenever you are here. It's gonna be quite an enterprising, a universal tournament here. It's the Future Champs Tournament 2016. Now here come it's in Kumalo with an early shot. Nice tester for Alessandro Zanelletti. Looks of it was a man. It's in Kumalo. He's it off to the right back. Who puts in a ball of quality and Dan O'Meyer comes up top. He had to come out and be dominant in the air there. Now he comes in through attack. Take a shot. If he actually looked up, the keeper seemed to be too far on the left-hand side. Working hard are the Vitz boys, but that man, Shady Okuto, man rushing onto him. Easily just pushes it one side and gets the team attacking. Great work here from a man. A step over here. Shot comes in. What a goal. Acosta Riso, 16-year-old. Took two players. A step over here for him. Bam, bottom corner. 1-0 to Torino. Fantastic uh, reaction there. The ball looked lost. But, you know, he showed uh, that he has a striker's instinct. He realized the defenders were flat-footed. He didn't look to pass. He went one-on-one -on -one and then he had another defender to beat. And the finish was just sublime. Two subs that have occurred. Gianla Cordicillo. Pulled off did actually. Had well in the first half. Simone. Porto. An opportunity now. And in the second half. For the sub which just came on. Side meeting. Goodness, Farouk, it was nearly the double, <laughs> the double <laughs> KO there. That was a close call, you know, he came out guns blazing. And uh, but best were caught napping, you know. We talk about critical moments in the game. And I think they were guilty in the first half of conceding very, very late. And almost conceding in the first half, in the first five minutes. So they, not, they don't seem to be aware that the first five minutes or in, in, in senior football, the first ten minutes of each half are what we call oh. critical moments. Torino team never seem to be in a panic mode. Always seems so calm as a ball comes in the box. Falls for an opportunity now. Well, it's important to not allow them to get their passing game because when they do get their passing game, they look very promising in attack. And uh, but they need to employ some sort of strategy to press them high. I wonder if this is uh, the default or the natural formation that they choose to play with uh, on a weekly basis. Well, I oh. think most Italian teams play with the 4-4-2 and uh, they're no exception. Uh, they look to push their, their wing backs up and overlap. So, yeah, they're not going to change too much in that uh, regard. Great spot there. Karabo Modibedi. Back is two for company. Decides to cut it back to the man who just came on. Well, in Sydney has a snapshot, but his radar is slightly off. Opportunity now, Musi Makan. Shot in, curl up. Well, there's a good example of uh, decision making. You know, Musi didn't have much of a shot from where he was. It would have been better for him to keep possession and look for a, a, a better shot on target. Free kick move now from the clever boys. Ball slightly passes in front of the Alessandro Zanelletti. Opportunity for Fritz! Ball comes in! Out of nothing, really! What a poacher's finish! The ball bubbled! The man who came in was able to swing a left foot and beat Alessandro Zanelletti out of nothing for him. Definitely, uh, one you know, it was a hard chance that he turned into a goal. Wonderful. I mean, the thing is that Budvest never set back. Yes, they made a lot of poor decisions, but when it mattered most, they scored. The Reno coach will be a bit disappointed with how proceedings ended for them. We're passing this game, but football is a game of two halves. This game was a perfect example of Torino 1 versus 1. What a start to the tournament.